have to reach the Empress before Corythius. The only question is, how? We know how. I have our way in. The real question is, where is our enemy hiding? At the urging of Grand Duchess Florian, the Empress is holding a ball. Absolutely everyone will be there. During the festivities, Céline will be meeting for peace talks with the usurper Duke Gaspard and Ambassador Briala. The assassin must be hiding within one of these factions. What do we know about Duke Gaspard? The man who would have been emperor. He's Céline's cousin and was first in line to inherit the throne when Emperor Florian died. Céline outmaneuvered him. She won over the Council of Heralds who hold authority over title disputes. She became Empress, and he a general in the Imperial Army. He's well loved by the troops. He's also a Chevalier. Most of their number sided with him when he turned on the Empress. Aren't the Chevaliers part of the army? Why would they follow the Duke? Most Chevaliers are sworn to serve the Crown, but that does not give them faith in the person wearing it. The Empress has tried to improve relations with Ferelden and Navarra. The Chevaliers see her as anti-military. They believe Gaspard could lead the Empire back to the glory of Draken's expansion years. Do we need to go to the peace talks? The Empress must have personal guards. We could just warn her she's in danger. We've made the attempt, but... It seems that our messages never reached her. Someone intercepted them. It's better that we don't leave this to chance. If Orlais falls to Corypheus, no land is safe. We shouldn't waste any time. Let's go to the Winter Palace. The political situation in Halamshiral hangs by a thread. The Empress fears our presence could sever it. The Grand Duke is only too happy to have us at the ball as his guests, so our invitation comes from him. Whether we act as his allies or upset the balance of power, he gains an opportunity, if not a clear advantage. Inquisitor Trevelyan, we meet at last. I've heard so much about you. Bringing the Templars into your ranks was not just a brilliant military move, but a clever political ploy as well. Imagine what the Inquisition could accomplish with the full support of the rightful Emperor of Orlais. And which one was the rightful one again? I keep getting them confused. If we keep watch, he may appear. Probably by the brandy. <laughs> I am not a man who forgets his friends, Inquisitor. You help me, I'll help you. Prepared to shock the assembly by appearing as the guest of a hateful usurper, my lord? They will be telling stories of this into the next age. It's a pleasure to meet you, Duke Gaspard. I look forward to ending this civil war. As do I, my friend. The Empire needs stability and security now more than ever. If you have the safety of the Orlesian people at heart, Inquisitor, perhaps you will look into something for me. This elven woman, Briala, 
I suspect that she intends to disrupt the negotiations. My people have found these ambassadors all over the fortifications. Sabotage seems the least of their crimes. That sounds like something I should look into. Be as discreet as possible. I detest the game, but if we do not play it well, our enemies will make us look like villains. We're keeping the court waiting, Inquisitor. Shall we? Is that the Inquisitor? What? A martyr? Don't be absurd! One of the Trevelyans, I've heard. My lord, you haven't seen a ring lying around, have you? It was a gift from the Countess Montbelliard, enchanted by the Fomari. I cannot go into the vault without it. Is this ring particularly valuable? Its worth in coin is not as important as its social value. It was a gift from a member of the Council of Heralds. If she finds out I lost it, she will never forgive me. Not even if I live to be a thousand years old. That's a terrible predicament. If the Countess finds out, make her have mercy. Should you happen upon it, I beg you, let me know. I can hardly believe Gaspar and Céline are in the same. <laughs> Gaspar never struck me as pious. He must think he gains a military advantage with the Inquisition. Servant gone. Elves always shirking their duties. Inquisitor, a moment, if you please. I'm sure you know how to handle most nobility. But the game is nothing like the Free March's intrigues. It is no simple matter of etiquette and protocol. Every word, every gesture is measured and evaluated for weakness. I'll keep my guard up. Don't worry. The game is like wicked grace played to the death. You must never reveal your cards. When you meet the Empress, the eyes of the entire court will be upon you. You are safer staring down Corypheus. You are just full of joy and light this evening. Everything will be fine. And Raste watch over us all. <laughs> 